Hello everybody, Cliff Whitney here from UAVExperts.com. Got a cool little thing I want to show you today. If you wanted to learn to fly FPV but you weren't quite sure how to get into it and the goggles kind of freaked you out and didn't know if you could do it or not, Rage RC has produced a really cool little new quad. What's it called? Stinger 240. 240. This is Cooper, guys. He's one of the best FPV pilots in the country. At least he likes to think so. We'll show you some of his footage later, but this is a cool little ship. It's lightweight. Most of all, it comes with a lot of stuff. You actually get a little set of goggles with it that you can put your phone in. Of course, extra props. It's got a USB little uh, uh, converter for your card and stuff. It's got a camera on the bottom of it, a full HD camera. The other thing it's got, it's a uh, FPV from the helicopter back to your camera. It runs a little app or helicopter back to your phone. It runs a little app on here so when you look through you can see it. Entry level FPV, yes, but fantastic. The bigger thing is, is the helicopter itself, it has a heading lock mode. It's got an altitude hold mode and that's what's difficult for most beginners when they get into this thing. A lot of cool LEDs. Fire it up on there. Let's take a look at the LEDs. And of course the transmitter. You can put your phone into it as well, right up here on the top. Does it fly pretty good, Cooper? Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that we noticed was that the control sticks are always in the neutral position. They're loaded just like on some of the more advanced helicopters out there. So it always returns to neutral and it sits and hovers and makes it real nice and easy to fly. Can you fly it in here? For sure. We're inside a pretty tight little studio here. So. It does have an auto takeoff and an auto land mode, so when you're flying it outside, it's kind of cool. And I like it because it's got LED lights on it. Makes it easy to see. Well, you're not supposed to really fly in the dark, but helps you with orientation and things like that. It's a cool little quad. Can you land it? You sure? <laughs> That's pretty good. Other thing that's really cool is it comes in a nice display case, as you see here. If you're giving a gift to somebody, you want to have a little bit of presence. You want to give some pizzazz and make it look good. And you also want to take care of your toys and your stuff when you're hauling it around. So the display case is a little aluminum case. It's really nice. It holds all the gear. It's got a display window in the front so you can see it and show it off and, and everything else is cooler. A couple of extra sets of props. Comes with two batteries. Yeah? Yeah. How long does it take to charge the battery? Um, comes with a little USB charger, you can plug in anything, your computer, a little wall adapter. If you've got other RC stuff, it's got a JST plug on it too, so it makes it easy to plug into your bigger chargers. More than anything, how's it fly? It flies awesome for the price. Um, it's got, like you said before, a heading lock, altitude hold, six axis gyro, all those systems in place to imitate, pretty much give it the feel of a fully GPS equipped quad. That's cool. And it does some tricks. Yeah, it's got a flip mode on it. Um, you just press it up in the right hand corner just like this. You just press it once and you direct the stick. It'll keep beeping until you do. You'll direct the stick to whichever way you want to do it. Left or right roll, front or back oh, flip. Cool. So it'll roll both directions. Yeah. Well, sure. I guess it's going to roll that way and it's going to flip that way. Yeah. Or backwards. And it gives itself a little bit of blip of throttle so it has just enough time to recover. Cool. Um, you want to get a little bit off too before you flip it, but it catches itself really nicely. I'm impressed with it. Well, maybe we ought to take it outside and let them. Uh, See how it flies. Let's do it. It's raining though. Yeah. We could fly it in the rain. Oh, we can. Want to see it fly in the rain? Cliff and Cooper were outside and he has fired up the controller. Show what it's got there, Cooper. So altitude hold is really nice on it. It doesn't require a lot of work to hold it in position and that's what a beginner needs. It's something that's nice and stable. <laughs> the camera does a great job. Yeah. But yet it'll zip around, so maybe Cooper will fly it around in a few circles for us. And... <laughs> that was great. We'll tap the button, it gives that little bit of climb, and it recovers pretty much the same altitude you click the button, which is really nice. 
I love it. What do you do to make it land? So pretty much that little throttle trim switch right there, just like you push it up to take it off, give it one click down, it'll come down hands-free, put itself down on a level surface. And land, very cool. Well, that was it. Flies good. I love it. Oh, Listen, good. the thing we didn't mention about this, which is the best thing, is it's just slightly over a hundred bucks for a system like this with an aluminum case and FPV camera and all the cool altitude hold and direction things that this one has. You'd expect it to be almost a grand, but only about 120, 129 bucks or so, I think it is. Yeah. So fantastic. Check it out. See the rest of the movies. Hope you have a good time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>